As a result of last year's clashes between India and China in Ladakh, the defense forces of both nations are still on alert. Military deployment in and around Ladakh has drastically increased and both nations have deployed their latest defense war machinery including drones, fighter jets, artilleries, and main battle tanks in high-altitude areas as the standoff continues. Ladakh is one of the most challenging places on Earth for tanks to operate. The thin air and temperatures in the region can plunge to minus 45 degrees Celsius. With no option of light tank available India has deployed the T-90 Bhishma and T-72 Ajay tanks, which are not suitable for that environment. India is currently procuring 18-ton Sprut SDM-1 from Russia, as it shares the gun of the T-90 tank and fires the same kind of ammunition. On the other side, PLA has deployed Type 15 light tanks with other supporting armor. Although both Sprut and Type 15 are not equivalent to each other in terms of class and specifications, the former is designed a self-propelled anti-tank gun system while the latter is a light tank. Still, they will be deployed against each other. In this video, we will analyze which one is at advantage in this harsh terrain. In terms of firepower Type 15 is armed with 105mm rifled gun with a thermal sleeve and fume extractor, a coaxial machine gun, and remote weapon station with 40mm auto garenade launcher and 12.7mm machine gun. Its main gun can fire APFSDS, heat, high explosive fragmentation rounds, and guided missile with range of 5000 meters. The 105mm Advanced Tungsten Alloy APFSDS has penetration of around 500mm at 2km, Sprut SD on other hand is armed with powerful 125mm 2A75 smoothbore gun, a coaxial 7.62mm gun, and remotely operated 12.7mm machine gun. 2A75 tank gun, which is a derivative of the 125mm 2A46 tank gun, is installed on Russian main battle tanks. The main gun fires ordinary 125mm ammunition including 9M119 reflex. Further, the major requirement for tanks to fight in mountainous areas is the elevation and depression of the main gun. Sprut gun can elevate to 17 degrees upward and minus 3 degrees downward. Type 15 elevation and depression figures are unknown but it possesses higher values than Sprut, as it is augmented by extrusion on the top of the gun mantle to increase gun depression. In addition, both vehicles have hydropneumatic suspension with adjustable ground clearance. The variable suspension will permit kneeling action to increase either gun elevation or depression for firing in undulating terrain. The ability to engage targets at different elevations makes Type 15 and Sprut equivalent. But, Sprut 125mm smoothbore gun will provide an advantage to Indian Army over 105mm rifled gun of Type 15 tank. On protection domain, Sprut Light Tank is inferior to its Chinese counterpart. Its armor composed of welded aluminum armor with a composite skin to maintain lightweight. Sprut frontal arc, 40 degrees left, and right of the frontal armor provide protection against attack from 23mm weapons at 500 meters, and against small arms fire and shell splinters through the remainder of the vehicle. On the other side Type 15 is reasonably armored than Sprut. The hull and the turret of Type 15 are made with all-welded steel armor which provides stand protection against firing of small arms and shell splinters. To increase the protection, Type 15 is equipped with advanced composite armor with explosive reactive armor. The ERA package used is FI-2 which is light in weight. Further both tanks incorporate advanced soft kill active protection system. Although on protection and armor Type 15 has an advantage over Sprut's armor, but against its 125mm gun that advantage is diminished. Sprut is designed as anti-tank self-propelled platform which has capability to be airlifted, that why it is lightweight. In which configuration it is accepted by Indian Army as light tank is unknown. Either it will come with more powerful engine or with additional weight in the form of armor or it will be accepted with same specifications. In terms of mobility, Type 15 is highly agile on plateaus, a type of terrain on which heavy tanks can struggle and force Indian Army to acquire lightweight tanks with equal characteristics. Type 15 is powered by 1000 horsepower diesel engine and weight of vehicle is only 33 tons giving it power to weight ratio of 30 horsepower per ton. 
On the contrary, Sprut is powered by UTD-29 multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 500 horsepower and has a power-to-weight ratio of 28 horsepower per ton with 18 tons weight. These are theoretical power-to-weight ratio values. On the mountainous battlefield, due to lack of oxygen engines power further reduces. Type 15 already has enough power to weight ratio figure to compensate and it designed specifically for this terrain even the main advantage is that it can be easily transported by air. Two Type 15s can be carried by single Y-20 transport aircraft. While Sprut figures are marginal for mountainous terrain, if Indian Army goes with additional armor they have to compensate it with more powerful engine. Currently, Type 15s are one step ahead in terms of mobility over Sprut SDM-1. While clear plus point of Sprut is that it is amphibious and can use its gun while floating. It is the capability that Chinese light tank lags. Currently, Indian Army notably lacks this capability to China's Type 15 tank, which is lightweight and compact platform. China is the world's leading producer of lightweight battle tanks, and no other country has invested significantly in similar assets, this leaves India in a difficult position in seeking parity with Chinese armor. Currently, to counter the Type 15 Indian Army has the only option of deploying more handheld anti-tank missiles such as cornets and attack helicopters with anti-tank missiles. The procurement of lightweight tanks is critical for India because, unlike China, India doesn't have an elaborate road network along the border and heavy tanks like T-90 are difficult to transport and manage. Sprut also gives India capability to be airlifted and transported conveniently. In conclusion, Sprut has better firepower and Type 15 has better protection, mobility-wise Type 15 is nearly better than SDM-1. On Himalayan front, light tanks would add to the credible deterrence posture and warfighting capability air medium category tanks cannot reach.